gorgeous out here today, man. The uh, boating season's right around the corner, and um, we're about to hang up the dry suit. It's about 80 something degrees out here, but the water's still like 60, something like that. So the dry suit was appropriate for the water, but boy, was it hot getting on. Um, which is cool. I would have already switched over to a wetsuit, except that uh, I hosed my my five mil last year and haven't bought another one because, well, I got a dry suit that handles all kinds of different temperatures. But anyway, uh, yeah, beautiful out here. I had a job where a guy came up here, he was hunting, and uh, he lost that overboard. Uh, nice shotgun that his late father had given him, and uh, it was kind of a big deal to, uh, to be able to find it. He said that he had a GPS coordinate um, which he did and he gave me the numbers and it was about 30 feet off which in black water like this um, Could be 300 feet off, you know um, But I did a line search a proper line search underwater along a cliff Believe it or not these uh, this um, This land here is just like a cliff underwater um, Anyway, it goes down to like 10 or 15 feet and just stays there throughout the whole width of the river. Very interesting topography. But anyway, bottom line is, is that along the cliff I was having a lot of trouble. A lot of exposed roots and dead trees that had fallen over and stuff and um, yeah, it was kind of a real problem and I had pretty much given up. But I, you know, just continued the line search until every square inch has been uh, found. I did, I did find a snapping turtle. He, he found me first and um, he took off, which was great. I'd rather him take off than snap at me. You know, those things could take off fingers. So, anyway, risky. But um, right as soon as I had, like, searched the cliff and kind of under the cliff, there were some roots kind of holding things, you know, in whatever. Nasty. Freaking don't suggest it. Uh, horrifying, actually. <laughs> Terrifying. Glad I had a line on me. Just as soon as, you know, I think, oh my God, I'm like way up under some roots, some tree somewhere, it could collapse on me, you know, all this is going through my mind. You know, I'd look at the line and know that I need my way out. So anyway, I don't suggest it, but um, yeah, you wouldn't think that 10 or 15 feet of water would be so terrifying. Anyway, as soon as I had given up on that, uh, like searching and stuff, I was, um, I don't know, maybe five or 10 minutes away from being done. And um, I decided that I would search out into the river more with the theory that it had kind of underwater sort of bounced off the cliff and sort of ended up closer to the center of the river. And lo and behold, there it was. Great. I actually found some hard pan, you know, to be able to search. Um, believe it or not, all this black water and stuff, this has got, um, I mean, you probably have five or six feet of visibility, which is amazing. I mean, you look up here, it doesn't look like it is, but yeah, it's just real dark, and you know, the bottom is pretty much covered in muck, so. But yeah, uh, there it was sitting on the hard pan, which is great too. It could have fallen into peat, you know, like old decaying vegetation and stuff. It could have just been, I mean, that's like real super soft. And then it'll sink right into that and go five feet into the mud, you know, so. But anyway, uh, that's not what happened. I did end up finding it. There you go. And um, she's uh, kind of dirty. I'm sure he can clean her up. He's going to meet me at the landing. I already texted him with a picture. I know he's super stoked, so, which is great. Let's see if I can hold this accelerator at the same time. Got a lot going on with my hand. 